The CLX has been launched um, to fit with inside our product range and complement other machines that we have, but it's put at a price point that is a very strong advantage, particularly for the subcontractor. The Compact Master Head really stands out to me straight away with 90 Newton metres of torque. Now, what solutions would this provide for? Well, this is a, it's a terrific head. I'm going to open the door on this so we can get right into the machine to actually see it. But you can see here the, the compact as it's classed. I mean, you know, the clues in the name. Look at the size of it. It's as, it's as wide as it is tall, which basically means when it's rotating through 90 degrees, you can still maximise your working envelope uh, on the machine, which means you don't have to have a, an inordinately big footprint to be able to, um, to do big you know, turning lengths and larger parts. But the very fact that you can access both the front and the second spindle, and it is a second spindle on this machine, to be able to perform all manner of machining applications accurately and quickly is what this Compact Master Milling Head's about. Now tell me about the milling capabilities of this Compact Master Head. Well, it's an HSK as well, which means it's a real performer when it comes to machining regardless of what material we're doing and you're going to see a demonstration on this machine today which really highlights all of the features and all of the possibilities that this head can do but the HSK spindle in itself the power that this has got we're going to put the technical specifications on the screen the speed of it means that you really can achieve uh, whatever you desire on whatever material you're looking to tackle how many users out there are having to think about when they create a part doing certain operations on the front or the back spindle because one's inferior. When you have a machine where you can do either on, on the front or the back spindle, it means that how you create the part, you can be totally flexible. It means if you've got heavy duty milling operations or you've got uh, something that you need to you know, do on the front spindle normally, you can now do that on the back too. So it means that you really have got two machines, left and right, front and back spindle. It's ergonomically designed with fantastic accessibility and we move back around here, Paul. This particular model is loaded with 60 tools, um, 30 tools as standard. Um, again, Paul, ready for automation. Um, what kind of applications do you believe with this capability that this machine tool will really lend itself to? Well, the tool changer is such an important part of this machine, but not just a tool changer, thinking outside the box as how you get the best out of the tool changer. Here you'll see we've got a roughing and a finishing insert tool here in the spindle, which means sometimes you would associate with changing, although this is very quick, tool changing on this machine isn't going to be as quick as a turret, but by having two, two tools in, in, in essentially one tool holder means you're eliminating one uh, tool changing operation. But by having more tools in the machine means if you're doing uh, several different components, it's like having a milling machine here with a, a 60 or a 90 station tool changer with the added advantage of being able to turn as well. True one hit machining. If the tool changer was fully loaded with the 90 tools pre-set, pre um, this machine is also capable of running a multitude of one-off components without having to change the setup type. This is the future of manufacturing. Companies that are doing uh, different components around, around a machine shop, how much time do you spend setting machines? You want to get rid of that. It's about reducing that time that that operator is in here setting, whether that be through the tools, whether that be through the programming, whether that be through the chucking systems. It's all done to eliminate any of those unnecessary uh, times that you're doing those things. And this is something that DMG Mori really promote and really pride themselves on, what they've created and crafted here. Things like polygon turning, eccentric turning and eccentric milling, interpolation turning, gear cutting, keyway creation, all of these things are done. There's, there's around about 50 cycles within here, tech cycles, which make, uh, which do exactly what we said earlier and reduce all of that hassle in trying to make programs for parts and, and really increase the amount of time it takes to set a machine. What you've got to remember is the intuitiveness of crea uh, creating those programs as well. It's the hand-holding, it's the guidance that this system gives you. It means the, the, the lack of skills we see in this country and around the world, DMG are addressing that by making their machines very easy to program and use, but also at the same time making it efficient. Now this is of course a four plus one machine, but it's a very, very capable uh, beast here. The demo that you see just illustrates this part 
takes less than 30 minutes to make. Whether you're going to do turning or prismatic components, it can do both in one hit.